and Titus Gaming here on Jombie. Titus Gaming switching sides now going to start as Marine, while the Aliens and Sonoman start up in Waste Recycling. Can Titus come back this round? We shall see. Can Sonoman be a strength, an overwhelming opponent like they were in the last round? Three Skulks waiting outside repairs against the two Marines, Rantology and Gorgeous. EZM going down quickly. Lava going down quickly. It's Tane. Tane goes down after a kill on Rantology. So that's three Skulks down right to begin with there. You got Neats over here in Oxygenation building up some uh, clogs. You got two Skulks waiting outside of Gravity while two Marines are making their way all the way up to Organ Donation and skipping all of the res. Interesting that they're moving out to Bay Wing for their res node. And I'm sorry, something just happened there that shouldn't have. Okay, so Golden goes down as he tries to look at what's going on in Oxygenation. You got the two Marines over here in Pipeworks, Sicknick and Joshi. EZM coming in, Nate coming in. I don't necessarily see Sicknick, but he gets a good shot off. Joshi taking down Nate. EZM's going to retreat. They are getting the res node up there. Armory being built back at base. Repair is up. Llama just outside the door. He's evolving, trying to get his upgrade. And oh, they went Veil. That's right, Shade Hive. So triple Veils to start off with right away. What is that going to mean for this match? We will have to see. You saw that uh, Llama had cloaked right there outside of repairs. You know, Cloak doesn't fully cloak you. You can still kind of see a distortion in in the uh, the actual visual of that room. And it does look like our two Marines have been cleared up in Pipeworks now. EZM is going to work on that res node as Supply Lines has gone up. Gorgeous has gone down and Repairs is starting to get affected now. Alien sitting on two Harvesters, third one growing right now over in Bay Wing, and you can tell they've got the silence on because you cannot hear the bites happening right now. Tane going down right there to Joshi after losing Rantology. Joshi moving back up north, now linked up with Golden. Assassin waiting right there in the wings. Oh, I like this play with Nate hiding behind the crate here as Llama's working on the power. Both these Marines have their shotguns. They're not really going to know what's going to happen. Can they catch Nate? Here we go. Llama in the front. Nate in the back. Oh, and Rantology turns around at the right time, feeling the bait, taking both those skulks down, saving the power over in that room. Assassin's easily going to take down Supply Line as nobody is there to defend. And it looks like you've got a four-man pressure team making their way up to the Hive now. Or at least moving up the right side. EZM coming to base. Rantology just starting to spawn in. Able to save that. And they're going straight for the Hive. Shotgun rush! Shotgun rush as the Lurks just pop! Gorge in the hive to defend. They're pushing through. Oh, I really think we should do this from overhead. And you can just see these guys were ready to clean up all those shotguns lost. Wow. Josh is still alive in here. Taking down anybody he can, but those two lurks are going to make it really hard for him to win this engagement. And they're going to pop eggs right away. So they didn't really capitalize on anything there because... They didn't take down any Harvesters. They took down a couple life forms, but not anything of uh, evolved life forms. Uh, well, I mean, they got the Gorge, I guess, but they didn't really need the Gorge anymore. The Gorge had kind of done their job except for a tunnel. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, right now, that shotgun rush really put a damper on Titus's move forward. Sonoman playing really well, using the pack play to their advantage. The double lurks are definitely a big plus for them right now. 
You got Josh and Golden moving up into Ox, or sorry, Organ Donation. You got the Drifter coming in. They can see the infestation, which means they know that, you know, they've got multiple Harvesters up. With four Harvesters online, that means that, uh, you know, these Fades are going to be popping really soon. And look at all the red blinking around the map right now is, you know, marine items. Power nodes, extractors. Joshi goes down up here just outside Oregon. And the Marines are in a lot of trouble. They need to figure out something right now. Wow, double lurk. So effective. Rez just going down left and right. Second hive dropped up in Pipeworks. Pressure at Marine start. <clears throat> Working on those mines. Arms Lab now going up at six minutes. Those veils doing a great job of helping all of these aliens mask themselves around this map. And Sonoma definitely trying to make a point here and saying, don't underestimate us. We are a great team. Not that anybody should underestimate them because they have given really no reason for that to happen. But uh, the Sonoma aliens doing a fantastic job here. Now grabbing their sixth harvester in gravity and spreading infestation down to electrical core which will give them their seventh taking down the extractor and supply lines which could give them their eighth and holy crap the fades are just about out all right titus knowing they need to do something now moving out in a pack of four up the right side of the map leaving their base wide open and exposed really Not going to have any Harvesters. Kind of realizing that there's so many Harvesters up that unless they can kill the Hive right now, they're, you know, this game is over. They got to be careful not to overcommit in the room. They've taken down one Lurk. Can they take down Lava? Lava goes down. Second Lurk is down. Only two guys left in the room, though, against these Skulks. And wow, now the hallucination's popping out. What happened back at Marine Start? Did we lose anything? I don't think they had a second IP. So I don't think we lost anything. Still mines back at base. No damage was really done to the hive. I mean, 77%. They could rush back up because there's no lurks. But they've got a bigger problem because now the fades are ready. And unfortunately, with six active harvesters, I'm pretty much going to say that... You know, they're going to have a tough time on this game. They've only got armor one. And there's the fade. Tain is out as fade. No shotguns on the field. Level zero rifles. Down goes repairs. Bad situation to be in for any Marine player. And Mindast, in response to your comment, no, I'm just the only one casting. I have to take breaks, otherwise my voice is just going to die. So the question right now is, is there anything that these guys can do? And the answer is answered for me by Golden as the GG, well done, Sonoman. Taking it 2-0 right now on Jombie. And we are going to move on.